Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to tell you all about the 2017 Vengeance 26 FB13. It's a beautiful toy hauler, half ton towable. You can see it's nice and open with a big garage. You also have a separate bedroom and bathroom. Let's go ahead and start off on the back here. Uh, so you will notice this one does have the happy jack system. You have your queen bed right up top here, as well as two rollover sofas down below. Now the nice thing about the rollover sofas, they obviously make great seating. Because they are rollover, they also fold into a bed, so you have two beds back here. And when you store them away for when you're putting uh, all your toys and everything in the back, these can sit in either orientation. You can either have them out, so they both are rolled over, making a bed right underneath here, which maximizes your width, or you can fold them to sit down along against the walls, which would maximize your height. So uh, great versatility in those. Uh, of course, because this is your um, toy hauler here, you have the ramp right on the back, just folds right down. You do have a screen here as well. This is pretty nice. It has a zipper right in the center. So it is really easy to go ahead and enter and exit. You just zip, zip that up, unzip it. It gives you a great cross breeze coming through here as well. Speaking of versatility, you also have this right here. You have an indoor, outdoor portable table. You have this Euro style recliner here too. So uh, you can have it set up like this if you want, kind of get yourself a little portable office here. You can move the table back between the couches. You can turn the chair toward the TV, whatever you want to do. But again, just great versatility there. Speaking of versatility, take a look down at our D hooks. You will see that you have 10 hooks in here. You have four up front, then you have two rows of three here in the back. So that allows you to put in several different toys, whether it's motorcycles, quads, uh, whatever it may be. Again, you have that extra room because it extends into the kitchen, which is great. Uh, if you move, talk about our kitchen, let's go ahead and move right into it. Right here is a Dometic fridge freezer combo, eight cubic foot. You'll see it's nice and big, plenty of space in there. You have a cutout here as well. So for any taller items you wanna put in there, uh, that's not an issue. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Uh, if you see right down below, you will notice we have a rolled up carpet right in between here. Uh, that's great. If you want a little more residential feel, you can go ahead and lay that out. It covers this back area, covers the entire kitchen. So, you know, when you're thinking of toy haulers, yeah, they're perfect for toys. You have the garage floor, but you can make this a lot more homey. Just roll that carpet out, you know, once you get to your destination, and this makes a perfect uh, area to stay. Just makes it very comfortable and residential. So uh, move further into the kitchen, look at all the countertop space. Again, you don't see that very often, especially in a toy hauler. Excellent prep space all the way along here. Uh, the counter does have some under lighting here as well. Window, of course, to let in some natural light, LED lights throughout uh, to give you light at night. Now, LED lights are always great because they use a fraction of the power and don't put out near the heat. If you take a look up top here, you have your microwave, good storage all the way along the top too. I kind of like the pulls they have on here, a little more modern look to them, but good storage there. And then same thing right over here. Now, if we take a look underneath, you will notice uh, you have your uh, cooktop right here. This does have the glass cover, which is great. Cause again, you can utilize this as prep space. Nice and easy to use. It just folds back, doubles as a backsplash right here. That will reveal your three burner cooktop. And then you also have the oven underneath. Uh, speaking of underneath, one thing I forgot to mention, if you take a look underneath the fridge right there, you will see a battery disconnect. That's very convenient too. Rather than having to disconnect your battery posts when you're done camping for the season, you can just go ahead and kill that battery disconnect. That will kill all power to the coach here. As you look a little bit further, you do see you have storage underneath the counter here. Two large full extension drawers. This bottom one is a little bit deeper. You can see that, it's a nice deep drawer right there. And then underneath the sink, you have some additional storage here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the sink. You, again, you have the sink top cover to maximize that prep space. When we take that off, that reveals a very large single bowl undermount stainless steel sink, 
which is great. It's almost a zero radius sink, so you get to utilize the whole thing. And it's big enough, you can easily fit residential pots and pans down in there. And with your high rise industrial style faucet here, it makes it very easy to wash and rinse dishes. Now you notice this is an undermount sink. That's because this is a seamless countertop. Nice and lightweight, but it's uh, very similar to your uh, solid surface and the fact that you can still undermount your sinks. Additional plugins right over here, you see our electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports in case you need to plug anything in there. And then your TV is right above. Now this is on a swing arm mount, so if you want to go ahead and bring that out, you can turn that in any orientation. Uh, but you know, it's in a great spot. It gives you a good viewing angle from the back if you want to lay down. You know, if you're in bed, you can see the TV. Again, you can turn the chair, watch the TV there too. If you take a look across the way right here, this is the entertainment system there. You will see you have an HDMI port to plug in some auxiliary equipment. Uh, you can control your inside and outside speakers right here. That will be your selector for them. And then additional storage right up top here. You also have this storage, it has the net, which is nice, so it makes it very easy to access quick items right there. Uh, if you take a look at the uh, side right here, you will notice the electrical outlet there too. So if you're laying in that top bunk, uh, you know you need to plug in a cell phone or sleep with a CPAP machine, something like that, you have the electrical outlet there for you. And then a very large window right here. This is awesome, lets a ton of light into this coach. Also, this is your campsite. This is what you wanna look out and see every day. You don't wanna look out at your neighbors. So I'd love that they're able to put a big campsite window here. But all right, folks, that wraps it up for the back half. Let's head up front. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. As we take a look at the bathroom, you will see right down in the corner here is your foot flush lever toilet, plenty of leg room all the way around. You'll also notice a heat duct right next to it. So on those colder days, you don't have to worry about having a cold bathroom. Right over here is your neo-angle shower. You see you have the shower glass door on there. You have good shelving. Not only do you have a hand wand, you also have the shower bar. So you can go ahead and adjust the height at which you would like it. And right up top, you have a nice big skylight letting in a ton of natural light. Now right behind me is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You can see you do have good storage there. Again, the seamless countertops even in the bathroom here. Uh, nice big sink, you have the plug in there, two USB ports, again to plug in electronics, and then underneath you have additional storage. The Bedroom of the Vengeance features a full walk around queen bed. You will notice there is storage underneath. It's strut assisted so it's very easy to access. Both sides, you'll see you have wardrobe. So one side, you have the single door. You can see the hanging rod going across. This side's actually a little bit larger. You have the French style doors here, the double door. Nice big hanging rod there. Also, drawer underneath for additional storage. And you have this great shelf here. So uh, if you have a glass of water or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, there's certainly plenty of room right over here. You'll also notice you have storage going across the top, LED reading light underneath, and in one side right over there, you see you have a little cubby hole. So uh, if you need to access anything, you know, or put books or something in there, you can certainly do that. Maybe a Kindle right there. Also additional electrical outlet right over here. Both sides do have windows, so you can get a great cross breeze coming through. And if you like to watch TV in the bedroom, it's not a problem. You don't have to buy another one. You can actually take the TV from the living room, go ahead and put it right here. This does move with the TV, which is pretty great. And that way, like I say, if you want to watch a show before bed, you can go ahead and move it right in here. It's easy to do that. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Vengeance 26 FB13. It's a great toy hauler. It's half ton towable, has a ton of amenities, nice and open in that back area. Again, you can make it feel more residential, go ahead and lay that carpet out, but you have plenty of space for your larger toys. Great sleeping back there. You get the versatility of the table, the Euro chair there too. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call, here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.